Hello friends, welcome to SQL Server tutorial. In this sub-series, we are talking about SQL CLR function. And here in this video, we will create a SQL CLR function and deploy that. And in the next video, we will see how to deploy the same stuff with uh, TSQL script. Here, we will deploy it uh, without using TSQL. Sometimes TSQL is useful if you want to deliver your functionality through build script. Alright, now let us uh, jump in. Now it is demo time. We will go ahead and create the SQL CLR function. Inject the DLL into SQL Server engine and we will make use of the deployed function. Let's go to the demo. So here we are in Visual Studio IDE and we will go for file. new project in the template list we will choose a school server and we will pick a school server database project and we will name our project as a school clr function and we will pick c temp1 Let's use same name for our solution as well and make sure create directory for solution is checked and click OK here. So, okay, let's combine this property. So go to Solution Explorer, right click on the project name, choose Add, New Item and here in the left side if you see under the SQL Server group we can go for SQL CLR for CASH and we will pick user defined function and you can see the other option as well you can create a school clr cash aggregate or stored procedure trigger user defined data types right all these stuffs are possible here we are simply using the user defined function in c sharp language so we will name it as test function and we will choose add if you see first we created the project and now we are adding the item the item what we are adding is user defined function likewise you can add multiple item like stored procedure trigger all those stuff so here uh, we are using test function test functions are if you are going to add multiple function you can use it as a test functions all right add it here you can see there is a na namespace system data and sql data types 
so this will define all the bridge data type that works with c sharp as well as sql server so that's one thing you have to note then if you see by default the template added a function and the function is marked with uh, a school function so once this dll is injected to a school server a school server knows that it's a, a function written for uh, uh, um, written in c sharp and works well for uh, a school server so also when we build that time also it will be useful because the compiler knows that the function is for uh, um, SQL Server database, right? Now here, if you see the function name is test functions, we should have cut this uh, yes here, but uh, that's okay. Now we will remove this. So now we changed the default code, and if you see. The string is assigned with uh, my first SQL, I mean my first CLR function, and we are returning that uh, string. So now we can call this uh, function using the name here, test functions. So in SQL Server, we can make use of this uh, function name. Now we will write one more function. And here we wrote a function called square off. It returns a SQL int 32. And if you see, this the um, common data type between C sharp as well as SQL server. And the data type what we are using is SQL int 32. And the input parameter is SQL int 16. And here we use SQL int 32 result equal to 0 then a result equal to n1 into n2 and finally we are returning the result so you can also use rich functionality available with uh, .NET library and you can use those functions also right so what are all the built-in functions available for CLR runtime you can use that and uh, here instead of using the uh, math function uh, square we simply multiplied the input number one uh, n1 into n1 and we are returning the result so now we have two functions under the class user defined functions now our functions are ready right now we will go to build and perform rebuild sql clr function view output and here you can see there is no error of course it's a simple piece of code now we can go for build publish sql clr function so once you click here it will open a dialog and in that we can set our database engine or when you set the database connection the time itself it knows what is the engine and the output of this SQL CLR function which is a DLL that will get injected to the uh, database engine now let's click edit and here in the server name we will give localhost and if you have network machine you can specify that windows authentication here i'm using a school server authentication providing username as sa and password for this session 
and remember password we can do that as well test connection So it states specified database doesn't exist, right? We will inject it to pubs, later we will remove it. Now we will test the connection and it states test connection succeeded. Alright, we will click OK here. So now target database connection is established. Now let us click publish and we will also i on this output window so database is pubs publish script name sql clr function sql and that's you can also use generate script and use it as a build option for now we will click a publish here Okay, now you can see the result. Publish pubs to uh, localhost. So the pubs database which exists on localhost use the SES credential to perform the publish. So what happens, it will generate the DLL, then creating the publish preview, then creating the database script, executing the published script on database pubs finally it will publish the content into the pubs database all right so if you want you can click this link and view the results right that's one way and We can also go to a school server and expand database. We will close this. We enabled the CLR integration right in one of our previous video. Uh, databases, pubs, and expand the programmability node and if you see the assembly you can see a school clr func a school clr func right so that's the dll we will get and that's the assembly here if i go to property you can view some of the properties here so you can see the assembly is deployed here and when you expand the function by looking at the okay it's closing this window let it close by looking at the function we can so this is retaining single discrete value this is also retaining single discrete value right so it's a scalar valued function by this time you know what is scalar valued function and what is table valued function and when i expand you can see both the functions square of which we wrote and the test function that's also written by us and these two functions are exposed by the sql SCLR FUNC assemblies. Now we will open a new query editor window. Database is pubs. Here it is dbo.square of right. We will test both the function. One is test function. And if we go to class view, SQL CLR FUNC 
and this is our class name and if you see there are two functions exposed first let us execute the test function and you can see my first CLR function that's what the body here right my first SQL CLR function right the second one takes an uh, integer so now here if you see whatever you are passing this is native to the SQL server and it lands up into the common data type SQL int 16 and it performs the multiplication and returns the result in SQL CLR data type right now let's execute this as well and you can see 16 in a school server point of view at this moment the test function and the square of function are uh, just like uh, the other school server function but uh, it was written in c sharp language and deployed here Thank you for watching. Bye.